So, I live in a tiny little cabin off the grid. Up high on a mountain, on an island. It's still under construction, but it's coming along nicely. A lot of you have been asking questions about it, and also wondering whether I've given up van life completely. What? Give this up? Hell no! Those of you that are new to my social media may not be aware that I've lived in vans most of my adult life in an urban environment. All the major news networks have done stories on me. Home sweet home. This home is a little different than your average apartment. With a kitchen, a shower, and a bed, it's got the necessities. It's even got a million dollar view sometimes, and the price is hard to beat. It's nice and breezy up here. So here's the kitchen, two burner propane stove. I've been on the radio as well. And it's a great lifestyle. It gives you a lot of freedom, and after this, I'm gonna go up to the ski hill and spend my rent money up there because if I was paying a landlord to live in someone else's house, I couldn't afford to do that. <laughs> I love it. Just incredible. Even in newspapers. I've also organized many meetups for other van dwellers. We call it CamperCon. And that also gets media coverage every time I do it. Where people who live inside vans and RVs gather to celebrate this alternative and affordable lifestyle. The organizer of the event says being a real estate owner is about freedom and choice. Most of the people here uh, either are retired or they're working class nine to fivers like myself. I've never had a landlord in my life. And the beauty of this lifestyle is today I live at the beach, tomorrow I might live on an island. So, what about now? Well, I'm basically doing the same thing, just a little bit different. My little cabin, an oversized camper van on concrete blocks instead of on wheels. Except I think I traded in that million dollar view for a billion dollar view. I'm living the same way I did when I lived in a van. I just have a few solar panels, a little wood stove to keep nice and warm and dry on those rainy winter days. And I still have vans. In fact, one of them is serving as my kitchen and my shower facilities. And I have another one I'm just starting to customize now. So you'll see lots of that on this channel. I have a 12 volt well water pump to provide my fresh water. Also to fill up the wood fired hot tub. I mean, come on, I'm allowed to have some indulgences when I live like this, right? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Oh, and the outdoor shower, of course. So, is this channel all about vans and cabins and pretty views? You are watching Just Incredible TV. No, of course not. Obviously, being a van dweller for years means that I very much value personal freedom, individualism, and liberty. So when governments overstep their bounds, I tend to speak out about it. I consider myself an activist in that way. Keep on rocking in the free world! on rocking in the free world. <laughs> but they'll never take our freedom! Now, the definition of off the grid means you're not connected to the grid. All that means is that I have to generate my own electricity on my property, but that doesn't mean all my neighbors are off the grid too, and it doesn't mean I'm in the middle of nowhere or anything like that. But where is this place? Where none have gone before. I know I should have taken that left coin at Albuquerque. This group of islands is called the Southern Gulf Islands because it is on the south coast of BC and it's made up of hundreds of islands and islets. Several of the larger ones are home to thousands of people. I am situated right in between two major cities. Vancouver, where I was born and raised and lived in up until now. Victoria, the capital city of BC. During the summer, these islands can triple in population. There's grocery stores, hardware stores, pubs, restaurants galore, big outdoor markets that run about seven, eight months out of the year. There are hundreds of honor system roadside farm stands where you just drop some cash in and take what you need. You can buy everything from fresh fruits and veggies to eggs, firewood and kindling, jams and jellies, coffee and cookies, fermented mustard? Pardon me, would you have any grey poupon? But of course. <laughs> Thankfully, you won't find a single McDonald's or Walmart location over here. Hey, customer service lady, you know, you people are running me out of business. You know, you come into town, you squeeze out the little guy, and then when you got everybody where you want them, you just jack up your prices. <laughs> 
Walmart. There's nowhere else to go. There's a very strong and healthy attitude here to support local whenever possible. The biggest island, Salt Spring Island, even has its own currency, Salt Spring dollars. And they're accepted by businesses all over the island, just like normal cash. So you can totally forget about Uber Eats or drive throughs on these islands, but you will find a lot of really rad people. The Southern Gulf Islands are blessed with a Mediterranean climate, which means quite mild winters with less rain than Vancouver gets and really hot summers. Yes, of course, there's lots of multi-million dollar homes here, but tucked away all over the islands are people living in tiny houses, little cabins, RVs, even yurts. The Gulf Islands are well known for counterculture, hippie culture, and definitely a very free-spirited, laid-back lifestyle. You'll find lots of nomads on these islands, some of them on wheels, some of them on boats. Legalities aside, it's always been a part of life on these islands, and that's why a lot of people, like myself, choose to live here full-time. Living an alternative lifestyle is much more accepted and a lot easier to get away with than in the city. Some of you will say, hey, you've lived in a van all this time. You're probably not an expert gardener. Well, don't worry. Samantha here, she knows how to work a hoe. <laughs> Wallace handles all the wood. All kidding aside, my ultimate goal here is to be as self-sufficient as possible and to live simply and minimalist, like I always have. I'm a true environmentalist, so I often like to repurpose things and make them useful again. You know, reduce, reuse, recycle, and all that jazz. The Ocean Highway, BC Ferries, is of course part of the official highway system, and it connects Vancouver Island with the lower mainland, where Vancouver is located. All the routes in between are the ocean road links for the Gulf Islands. Please come up and enjoy our onboard services. Enjoy our White Spot onboard menu featuring White Spot burgers plus a variety of legendary White Spot hot and cold entrees. Check out our spectacular selection of books, magazines, candy, and souvenir items in the gift shop. Because of the central location, I can hop on a ferry and go to Vancouver or Victoria and be back on the same day. I'm on the ferries several times a month. Look down, back up. Where are you? You're on a boat. Ferries are just a part of life if you live on the West Coast and it's, it's just normal to drive on a ferry, which is always a safe and enjoyable experience. No, 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 no! So we sometimes take it for granted when people who don't live on the coast don't understand. BC Ferries is the biggest vehicle ferry fleet in North America and one of the biggest in the world. There are nearly 40 ships and 47 ports of call. Some of them are smaller car ferries and some of them are giant ferries that carry hundreds of cars, semi-trucks, trailers, RVs, and thousands of passengers. Of course, here from my property, I am literally staring at ferries crisscrossing below all day long. One of the reasons these islands retain their rural character and the rustic feel is because of strict development bylaws which prevent the islands from becoming just another suburb of Vancouver. Add to that the fact you have to take ferries to get to these islands, that keeps a lot of the riffraff out. This wonderful guy, <laughs> just incredible. So if you like what you've seen so far, or maybe you just want to hear what I rant about next, click that subscribe button below and make sure to check out my website, justincredible.tv. Over there you can ask me questions and I'll answer some of them in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. If you need help finding anything, just ask any crew member. We hope you enjoy your trip with BC Ferries.